This is a Royce Union folding bike from the 70s. It's not really worth anything as a collectible. I have been seeing they've been selling on the internet for about a hundred bucks. This one's very rusty. I'm going to fix it up and uh, rehab it and modernize it a little bit for day-to-day -day use. This all starts with a complete disassembly. Taking it apart took about a half an hour total. I've fixed up lots of things over the years. This one's my first bike. The hinge pin for the folding mechanism is pretty rusty, so I'm going to grind off the end and drive it out, replace it eventually with a stainless bolt and stop nut. This calls for a bigger hammer. There were little nubs on the frame to hold a now long gone tire pump. I'm not going to use a pump, so I'm cutting off the little brackets. Now I'll just grind the area smooth. If you don't have a sandblaster, a raw lock disc and a drill works great. I have spray equipment, for, but for this small project, spray cans will work fine and make the cleanup a lot easier. And there's two coats of gray primer. Here's a bit of the rust on the original main frame.
The front fork bearings get washed in mineral spirits and then packed with grease. A valve core wrench takes the uh, valve core out of the tire so we can get the air out of it. That tire is really stuck to the rim. That rubber has been on there for 40 years. A wire brush takes care of the rust on the rim. On goes a new tube and a BMX style tire. The rusty old fenders aren't going to fit anymore anyway with these tires, so I'm going to leave them off. The wheels have been cleaned, primed, and painted with three coats of gloss black paint and then clear. That's a specialized bicycle tool I'm using there. Like a small tire iron, but made out of nylon. I'm going to reuse this rear rack, but the hinge section and the spring are coming off. Apologies for the Homer shirt. Those yellow plastic inserts are coming out too. This rack will be de-rusted and painted black. In go the main crank bearing races. That frame has two coats of primer, three coats of gloss gray paint, and two coats of clear. The bearings are cleaned and packed, and then the freshly clean, cleaned up sprocket and cranks go in. Almost done. The original decals are gone, but I couldn't resist adding my own. And she still folds. The saddle, pedals, and hand grips are all new.